way to go. The green light goes, and this is about getting clipped in and getting that start. Vadaputa on the right is left, all right, getting a good start on the inside of this slight left hand turn. And you can already see Lars van der Haar shoulder to shoulder with Ellie is a bit. Oh, that was getting physical already as it came around that turn. So speak. Hermans, van der Haar, Isavit, van der Pooter at the moment. Uh, I think Speak really wants to take a mistake there uh, by his bit. That holds up Boris. Boris then holding up the rest of the race field behind him. He came down the center. Oh, no problem here. That looks like Hermans has gone down. He's misjudged that turn there. Oh, washed out just to got the, uh, I think, slightly too much break. He was lucky not to get run over there. So Hermans, after one of his best starts, now out of the running. He's a bit trying to go around the side of uh, Lawrence Fix. Fix so not a chance. I'm going to stay in front on this bit. Van der Haar pushed up to that left-hander line. This is going to allow Bainstein to close up on the right there. Little mistake, though. Ah, uh, yeah, so just coming up over the top. All the riders are going to be absolutely paranoid to the point where if they feel the slightest difference in those tyre pressures, they are probably going to go in and change it to be on the safe side. They won't want to be uh, in trouble. The only place it's easier to ride with a flat tyre is the sand, and there's not much of that, and is a bit now. We are heading in to awards half race distance. We're uh, into that middle third of the race on lap number four of nine. And Isabit now starting to go back on the front. We saw him in the lead early on. We've seen Speak try his luck on the front. Isabit not looking as comfortable as you would expect over those steep banks. Every time we've got to those steep banks, we've seen him make mistakes, we've seen him slow off, we've seen a lot more momentum being carried in there by Lawrence Fink. Yes, he's a bigger runner. Yes, he's got more mass, but he's carrying a lot more momentum. And he's carrying that pace up and over the uh, top of the bank of better. It's allowing him on this section to get back onto the wheel sweep very easily indeed, not letting that gap go. And that sounds like a crash to me. It is. That's a mistake there. That's a big mistake by Isbit. We heard the clatter of the bike as it came down there. He missed just that. He's got blood down that right hand knee already. He's being passed by group number three. Yeah, he's going to have to go for a bike change. There's some damage there. And just Oscar, but that was a terrible clatter. It sounded absolutely horrible. It Carbon frame and rims really don't sound good when they hit the deck. That gap has opened. Kuhn goes past the pit. Van der Haar goes past the pit. Here comes this bit. Quick bike change. But look at this. He's now got ground to make back up again. He's currently in ninth place. Ten seconds down on speak and that's going to take a lot of energy to get back but now Lawrence Sweet senses that this is his chance to take a victory a man who has not won a World Cup yet we say yeah, it's surely got to come this is his chance is had a crash he's had an issue Look at the effort that uh, is a bit putting in. He's throwing them bike absolutely everywhere at the moment. One lap to go. Lawrence Fink in with the best uh, chance of the best result of his career potentially here. He's got the gap. At the moment, second place battle is a battle between second and third. But look at the focus from Vadahar continuing to push here. It's a bit rocking and rolling all over on that bike. Well, the gap going, another mistake by Isabit. I think that could be it. That could well be the defining in the moment. He's so tight, he's on the limit. He's made a mistake. The bike slid out on that innocuous left-hand bend there. And this distance now between second and third place, it's going to be enough, I think, to get Lars van der Haar through to the finish. But you can hear the cheers of the crowd as... A not only Lawrence Sweet comes through, but Lars van der Haar come through on their last lap here. Well, people have been waiting for Lawrence Sweet to take a victory in a World Cup for a long, long time. But today has been a day when he's been able to ride his own race. Arms are already in the air. That face cracks into a smile. He moves to Trillium Free as he takes number one in the race. A race win here at round number four for Lawrence Sweet.
First place, you see, second place for the European champion is Lars of van der Haar coming through 13 seconds down on your race winner. And it is a bit the series and leader coming in will take away the series lead and finishing in a third place. Wow, look at that. He's a happy man and quite rightly. First World Cup win for Lawrence Feek. Het is als kustuit op, dus burgemeester Rafter Wingen is erbij.